everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. This is Bridget. And what I want to speak about is the new moon. And the phase that it's in right now is the phase of Gemini. So the last four days, it was in Aries and Scorpio, but it has now changed. So Gemini's, if you're feeling kind of confused and kind of sluggish, not like yourself, maybe feeling confused and just all over the place, these are some things that you can do to help maintain what you're going through and what you are needing to change and do to help yourself feel a little bit more positive. Now, decluttering certain areas in your home, cleaning up a little bit. You don't have to do a full spring clean, but just areas that have been needing to be decluttered, whether it's your altar, whether it's your meditation process, wherever you kind of do your meditation or you do something specific in that area, clean it up a little bit, declutter it, open up some windows, let in some positive air and some positive energy, and you'll definitely be feeling a whole lot better. And I can tell in Gemini moods, you know, you're also looking for change. You're looking for something new. So things also in your love life are going to be kicking it up a notch. So if you've been experiencing kind of up and down and rough patches in your love life, I wouldn't take that as something that you're doing wrong or something that your partner is doing. It's just a way that the phase is in right now. Things are kind of going to be off balance. It's not going to be as bad as going back into Mercury retrograde. But the second step that you can do is write in your journal, whether it's a dream journal or just a specific journal that you write daily things in. What you should do is set intentions, set goals, set positive affirmations that you can write daily, whether it's, you know, negative things that you kind of want to lay out and start airing out that energy. You can definitely do that as well. But writing in it, whether it's every night, every day, or when you feel like a sudden urge to just kind of open up and express your feelings, but you have no one that you can kind of confine in and talk to, writing it down is also something positive that you can do. The sec third step here is also meditation. So if you're into meditation or if you're into praying, if you're taking moments of your time and just kind of really setting more positivity, that's also something that would be good. That's also going to cleanse out your energy. Also, the fourth thing that you can do is ritual, spiritual bath, um, anything that is, has a spiritual element, you can definitely add to your routine of your bath. So whether it's a special soap, a special kit that you have, or if you just make something of your own that represents all the spiritual elements and things that you feel most connected to, you can definitely do that. You want to take one of these ritual bath at least once throughout this whole time. And then the rest you can kind of do regularly. I would do at least once or twice, just in case you're kind of feeling too sluggish. But other than that, you want to stay positive, stay focused, and continue to be in a much more positive space and not let this negativity cloud your mind and affect you negatively. So those are just some steps that can help you progress and go through these different phases that you may be experiencing negatively. So continue to be patient, continue to be positive, but I can tell that things are definitely going to be improving and things after you phase out of this moon will be a lot more smoother. But just take your time right now. But I hope I was able to help some people with their journey to opening up their spirituality. If you are looking for a one-on-one -on -one session, I'm available on Psychic Text and Psychic Vision. And I look forward to hearing from everybody.